very little is known about this movie so far. Yeah. Uh, I just I've read a brief bit. Um, what are you allowed to talk about, and how much are you divulging during this presentation? It's a good question. I don't actually know. No one actually told me, so I could probably tell you anything, but then get into trouble afterwards. So I'm gonna I'm gonna err on the side of caution, but. Um, it's it's pretty much you know what you've read in the sense of of uh, a haves and have nots kind of movie where the people with money have sort of moved off Earth and developed a community um, in space essentially and um, Earth is kind of really messed up <laughs> and everyone who's left there is having a bit of a tough time. What can you tell us about him? Are you part of the haves or the have nots? My character is um, a guy called Kruger and he is. I suppose the best way to sort of explain him is almost like the movie set in the future, but he's sort of almost like a black ops um, operative, uh, field operative for the Elysium people. So he is one of them, but he mostly lives on Earth undercover. And when there's problems on Earth and when there's uh, issues, he, he deals with them <laughs> in, in sort of not so official ways. I get to, to do you know, something to Jody, which has never happened to her in a film before, so I won't tell you what that is, but it's quite interesting. You could <laughs> yeah. tell me. No, I can't. I'm, I'm not going to tell anyone. <laughs> no, I can't. We're not recording. No, it's cool. It's fine. <laughs> but They really should have told me what I'm allowed to talk about. It's quite interesting. I'm, I'm sort of trying to listen to what Matt's saying, and I'm figuring, well, if he tells you, then it's probably fine if I do. They didn't give you yeah. the usual sort of, uh, especially with a, a Comic-Con type of experience, I, I thought usually there's some sort of briefing. About, like, Apparently not. <laughs> Apparently they trust me. They seem to think that I can handle it. I don't know. Oh, no, I know in District 9 the Sony guys were kind of watching me the first couple of interviews to see like oh, can he can, can he speak yeah he looks okay it looks like you won't screw it up you know we talk about how your life has changed and how your career has changed yeah. um, since that movie made such a big impact here yeah um, well I mean everything really I suddenly was had the opportunity I think the fortunate thing for me was that District 9 was very well received not only by audiences around the world but Hollywood in specific you know Hollywood in particular so it's uh, it sort of afforded me the opportunity to meet with a lot of people, to work with top people around the world, you know. I mean, I, I still have sort of kind of pinch, pinch, pinching myself about this one. I'm doing Maleficent, which is, you know, I'm playing the male lead opposite Angelina Jolie. I'm like, you got to be joking. Come on, man. This is crazy. <laughs> I think I was, like, doing characters, and then um, now I'm playing, you know, Angelina's, like, true love gone wrong. And it's just, so it's pretty crazy. It's pretty surreal, you know. It's, this, it's a sur continuing surreal journey for me.